how to provide all-inclusive pricing on your proposal. Well, you know, probably the easiest method to do that is to where we go ahead and we calculate our general cleaning. That's the first step. So we go through and we take, uh, we take the scope of work and we, we estimate the time to clean based off the production rate that we would uh, uh, associate with that scope of work. Um, so that's the very first step. Now, in this, uh, in this proposal, they're asking for all-inclusive pricing, meaning that you're going to be doing uh, floor work, uh, you'll be, uh, you know, uh, polishing floors, you'll, you'll be stripping and waxing, you'll be scrubbing tile, uh, polishing stone, or you'll be washing windows, uh, those types of things. So, and rather than them having an, uh, an individual price for each of those services, they want all-inclusive pricing which is really a good deal. So if you can do that, I highly recommend that you always do that for all your proposals because it does a few things. Uh, let me explain first what, what that is, is because when you have all-inclusive pricing, that means you're gonna give one price per month for the services that you're gonna provide. By doing so, now you can go ahead and schedule all those project work or special services projects ahead of time throughout the year and you don't all you'd have to do is just notify the client to let them know that you're that you're doing that work uh, rather than asking them that uh, you know can we do this and then they're going to okay it uh, and be able to pay you for it that's the that's one of the drawbacks about not having all inclusive pricing is when you're when you're selling the service per service you know they may come back to you and say well no we can't afford it right now or it's not in the budget where with your all-inclusive pricing, they're already paying for it. It's just a matter of uh, you, the, the, the service provider, scheduling it and getting the work done. So that's the benefit of it. So, uh, like I say, the first step is to, to get your, pro, uh, your uh, production rate for your general cleaning done first, so you know your time to clean, and arrive at a price for the, the, for the general cleaning. Um, once you do that, now go through each line item of any of the special services or project work, whatever you guys call it, and break those services down uh, individually like you would charge them per service. So when you do that, you would you'd, uh, list the line items such as the strip and wax, you know, the scrub and recoat, the burnish, the buff, uh, windows, uh, and, and so on and so forth, and you'd have a line item for what that, would, that service would cost. Uh, once you do that, with the frequency of service, so let's say you're stripping and waxing is once a month. So what you would do is that if it, if it was X amount of dollars, you would just take that amount and divide it by 12 months. And then you would add it to your, your list uh, that you created now for your general cleaning. Now you're gonna, you're gonna put your stripping and waxing, the price there. Um, so that's gonna be your monthly price. And you're gonna do that for each one of these special services. So now we got our scrub and recoat. If we're doing that every six months, then we want to break it down and, and divide it to where we have a monthly price and then add that to our list. And the same thing is for windows or any other type of service that you're doing. Look at the frequency and break it down to where you're charging a monthly price for it and then add that to your list. And then it's just a matter of, of adding up your, your, your total list that you have, you know, your general cleaning and then your, your project work, such as your stripping and waxing, your scrubbing and recoating windows, you know, whatever it is. And that's gonna give you your total month, uh, monthly uh, billing that you're gonna bill the client. And that's how you'd arrive at your all-inclusive pricing. That's the best way to do it. Uh, that way you don't sort change yourself and like I say, the, the nice thing about all-inclusive pricing is that now you can schedule these things. If they're scheduled for once a year, twice a year, uh, every quarter, or whatever it is, now put them on your calendar so you got them scheduled. You know, then make sure that you, your operations manager or who's ever handling operations uh, knows that, okay, we're scheduled uh, to do floors on such and such a date. Uh, we'll, we'll give notice to our clients so they got heads up. Uh, because sometimes, you know, your client will have some special uh, events going on and you don't want to impede on that. So you always check with them to let them know that, okay, on this weekend we're going to be doing floors or whatever we're going to be doing, uh, just in case they may have something scheduled uh, with their company. But anyway, that's about all there is to it. I mean, uh, that's how I've always done it. It works great. And like I say, for when you have these proposals to where you can give all-inclusive pricing, uh, it's a good thing because now you're not playing well it's not in the budget game and stuff like that 
because a lot of times what you'll have is in with proposals people will say that they're interested in having you know the general cleaning done the stripping and waxing and all these other uh, service uh, special services but then when it comes time to do the services they don't do them and now some uh, some people use that strategy to drop your price because you know obviously the more services you're providing they're gonna they're gonna hopefully uh, see that you will lower your price because of the service all of the services that you're providing so be careful of that um, so when you're talking to a prospect make sure that uh, that you're both on the same page if you're gonna quote uh, line items for special services make sure that the service is actually going to get performed and they're not just uh, using that strategy to lower your price uh, other than that ex always suggest go to all-inclusive pricing that will eliminate that so now you're going to send them a bill every month, you know, for 1200 bucks or whatever it is. And uh, you're going to get paid. The work's going to get done. And the overall level of appearance for the, for the facility is going to be at a high standard that you've set. So that's the great thing about it. So, well, I'm Steve Hansen. I'm co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. And I hope you found this tip helpful. Uh, like I say, I've used this strategy many, many times, and it works great. It's a simple way to... to to calculate what your all-inclusive pricing should be on a, on a facility. And um, if you like this, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And uh, go ahead and make some comments if you got comments. Love to see those too. And as usual, if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And uh, you'll be able to see hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, videos on how to build a successful cleaning business. So until next time, we'll see you.